in the great nation of Georgia. Here is the streaking Armenian lightweight contender, Arman Tsarukyan. And when this man has been given big opportunities by the promotion, he has absolutely busted the door down. A lot of people harken back to his fight against Islam Akashia back in 2019. Prevailing wisdom is that that fight is going to materialize again because since that point in time, Tsarugyan has been an absolute killer. And when he knocked out Benil Dariush in December of 2023, he essentially made himself undeniable. He has been must see television, all offense all the time. And again, not a lot of fellow lightweights are calling Sean Shelby and Mick Maynard asking for a fight with the Armenian Armand Tsarugyan. This man's mixed martial arts acumen, his fight IQ, and you gotta think it's gonna take the very best out of his opponent to rest the belt away. Anyone, anyone that hopes to beat Mahachev has to be on their game. Your wrestling's gotta be on point, your striking's gotta be on point. But more than anything, you have to have a steel mind. You cannot break in front of Mahachev because he will then drown you. This guy is a champion for a reason. And as you have seen time and time again, Hasbula joins the Dagestanis in the octagon. Perhaps that's an X factor tonight. The great Hasbula in the corner of Islam Akashi. Islam Akashi, the man many of these fight fans have come out to see. the date for this lightweight championship fight. And now for the official introductions, the veteran voice of the Octagon is Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Tender, Islam Akashev. What will he do in this fight? Well, oftentimes he does whatever he wants to do. Certainly he can impose his will on the ground where his game is just so nuanced when it comes to the throws and the trips and the manipulation of joints and everything else. But on the feet, in a kickboxing setting, this man has proven elite as well. A true five-tool player who many believe by year's end could just be the king of the lightweight division. Big knee lands for the body. Oh, that knee appeared to land, and that, at the very least, is going to give that wrestler something, something to think about now moving forward. Well, wrestlers want to go forward, J.A. They want to get into you and take you down. That knee will relieve some of that forward pressure, and then maybe he can start to get off from a distance and have this wrestler staying back in his range. Up to the headlands, flush there by Sarukyan. Oh, he gets tagged there. Nice combination to the head. Well, that body kick was... Oh! Oh, oh and now a beautiful... I mean, that was beautiful. The way that he took the underhook, stepped all the way across, and hit that hip cross. Oh! He did a great job of reversing the position, using the opening that his opponent gave him to shut him off and get back up. 
All right, well, good news is he rocked him. Bad news is he wasn't able to finish the job, and now his opponent's back in the fight. I mean, you don't get those opportunities very often. You got to take full advantage of them when they're presented to you. Beautiful job getting those hands up. And a nice job to stick with it there to complete the takedown. Saruk Yan gets the single leg takedown. Well played. Barely missed on an uppercut right here on the inside. Oh, nice combination there. He is just killing him with volume. Jab, right hand, body shot, I mean kicks. What a masterful show of different techniques and ability for a combination. Nice body kick. Final minute of round one. Well, we'll see if he can turn this defense into offense, but he's doing a great job blocking shots here tonight. As of right now, he's thinking more defensively, and he's doing a great job of not taking any damage. Pretty interesting to see. There as it lands, and maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. Nice leg kick. In round one. All right, there's the horn, and what a round, champ. We got to talk about the knockdown. When you knock somebody down like that, it's got, got to be kind of fun to stretch your way back to the store. I mean, you are 10 foot tall. When you can <laughs> drop another person with a strike, you are 10 foot tall. Now, the issue is he did not find the finish, and he used a lot of energy trying to finish that fight. All right, so there is the horn at times in that previous round. I didn't think we'd get here after that head kick nearly had him out of there. It was a good round leading up to that. But when you take a head kick like that, when your opponent gets your entire body into that kick, usually the night's over. Very tough to still be standing, but he can't take many more like that. You ready to fight? Ready. Second round underway. Jab to the head by Sarukyan. And now his opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize it. He's coming high, and now he's got him hurt bad. Oh, nice body shot. Landing massive shots. He's hurt. He's wobbling. Just misses with the straight right. Now he gets a more dominant position with the underhook. He is going to start to drive these over and over. You got to be careful here. You got to move. Islamic Hashem goes in for the takedown now. Nice level change, and he gets it. So showing off the fight IQ there. He was getting tagged on the feet. Mm, nice. Hashem gets back up. Seconds to go now. Well, he's really starting to land a hard, huge strike lands there, DC. He landed that massive shot. Now he needs to try to find the next shot, the follow-up shot that will finish the fight. Oh! I mean, look at his left his left leg already on the outside. The inside and the right leg's gonna start looking at like that too very soon. He takes any more of those inside kicks. Oh. 
Well, it looks as though that strike maybe opened up a cut around the eye area. Yeah, it looks like that strike opened up a cut, John, but it's nothing to worry about now. But he's got to start to protect. Oh, he hurt him again! Back to the feet! before the final horn, you can classify that as saved by the bell. You took his best shots and smiled back at him. Now it's your turn. All right, so a big knockdown in that last round, DC. We'll show you the replay. Nearly had him out of there. He almost had him out. He had him gone. He hurt him real bad. He thought the fight was over. But the night will go on. The dance continues. Will this be the final dance? Ready. Ready. Good. Here we go. Third round of this championship fight. Overhand punch to the head. Blocked, though, by Saruja. center tonight i'm not sure what would top it one of the best knockouts we've seen all year in a very long time i have not seen someone look this good he promised us something and he delivered with that beautiful knockout And here once more with the official decision is Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean's called a stop to this contest at one minute, two seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world, Islam Makachev. So there he is, the still undisputed UFC lightweight champion. And when you're taking on lightweight number one contender, Tom,